Welcome back everyone. Today, number 75 of our five 1v1 games. Every single day this season, grind, we got. Oh my gosh. Today is another day like yesterday. I hiked, hiked all day. I hiked the Narrows in, uh, in Zion National Park in Utah. Quite a fun hike. You're just kind of trudging water all day, going through uh, really cold water with hiking poles and stuff. Good time, but man, once again, I'm just really tired. I am doing my ones earlier like than I did last night, so at least I didn't stream first. I had a little bit of a break, had dinner, got a shower in. But we're still pretty tired, so uh, anyways, let's just hope that we can do a little bit better today, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty tired, so we'll have to see how it goes. Let's hit it. <laughs> Let's get into game one. Alrighty, game one we have X Fierce, and hopefully he's no longer fierce, you know? Especially with us both kind of missing our kickoffs. Uh, I didn't have like a great kickoff. I mean, he obviously missed way harder than I did, but... Let's see if he... Oh my gosh, he stays around for that. I wanted it to roll up. He was just on my butt. I knew it. I was greedy getting that mid boost, I'm not gonna lie, but... He's still a little bit fierce, guys. I don't know, I don't know. He messes up a kickoff and I don't capitalize. It doesn't seem good, but Let's see if we can't do better. No, we can't. We can't do better. Oh, we extra can't do better. What is happening? We really, oh, okay. All right. Let me like stop sitting on a foot or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, let me sit up. Uh, I, did, I played one twos game to warm up. Did a little bit of free play, like not a whole lot happening go high maybe he's awkward and I knew he had the block there I don't know why I, I don't exactly know why I went there couldn't quite get in the way there nice we trip him up that's all we had to do and we get on the board we'll take it you know I, I I'm definitely gonna like take all day in stride um, just like yesterday, I, I know I'm exhausted. I know that I'm not going to be making the best decisions or playing the best in general. So I can't beat myself up over the mistakes. I just have to try and correct them as good as I can as quickly as possible. And I know that that's going to be difficult. I don't know if this is spawning soon. All right, now it is. All right, we expect this early challenge there. We'll go for the aerial play. Try to just force it in. Sorry, scored once by me, like misplaying that off my board there. Interesting. I didn't expect him to get that, but that's all right. We're still on down by one. We could have made that a little bit more threatening, but right now he's got it on his hood. Let's not give him the time. Okay. Ah, there's no no power. Is that one in? That one's just in? He's just going to turn and shoot that? Okay. Well, I don't know where my power went on that shot, but apparently it wasn't into the ball. <laughs> I, like, let it roll off my hood instead of hit it with my bumper, which is no bueno. Just really good control by this guy. I want to stay kind of close-ish, but not so much that he can't, like, you know, speed that up over us. Oh, that was close. I don't think that I can beat him to that corner, so I don't want to really want to try it, you know? I think I hit him into that, but I also don't think it's quite fast enough. Oh, he missed. Okay. Hey, we'll take the pull shot. I mean, we're still down by one. It's just after halftime. This guy is definitely quick, playing well. i do what we can. Maybe we can get back to this before he bangs it in. All right, we get a decent block, but it's gonna be a little bit hard to get back and... Uh, I guess not. I thought he was gonna have a better recovery because we didn't have hardly any boost. We sped up pretty quick, though. So, hey, we'll tie things up. Slow that down, nice, okay. Let's try this again. Just speed it up. There we go. Get a little double tap. Not really like our full double. Just kind of pinching off the crossbar. That's just such an effective play. I, I can do that. You know, if I if I actually can hit those consistently, I can go for them 
pretty much any time. That's not going in. Really thought that I was going to be able to get a 50 there, but I guess not. I don't want him to get the 50, so I'm just going to go early. Oh, and I'm bad. Alright, well, we do currently have a lead. Let's just not give him space again. This might spawn for us. It does. Once again, I don't want to give him time to get the 50. I'm going to cut him off the second I can there. And we don't want to go here because we wanted to see if he's going to mess up his touch off the wall there. Snag his corner. Try to get that over him. Still might want to bang this on target or something. Oh, I can't half flip. No, don't tell me that's just going to go in. Uh, I have such bad half flips because of my key binds. Uh, I, I I think he, he knows I messed that one up, but it's unfortunate. I've messed a couple up here in this game already that have got me scored on. Just straight up. A slight bump on him, but honestly, I'm very greedy going for that. I wanted to just pop that one over him, and I don't even know if I could have. I just wanted to. We'll just take it across. I almost own goal on accident, but he's not giving me space here, which is frustrating. I'm a little bit awkward here because I know that he has the bump potential. All right, he can't keep it up. Last kickoff. Oh my gosh, I can't actually believe we got to overtime with this guy. Game one, two. Ah, oh, he's just gonna get that. That's just so frustrating. We've made so many mistakes. So many mistakes versus him. Uh, let's just hop into game two. Like I said, I just have to power through today. Um, just try to do do better. Try to make less mistakes. Let's get into it. Alrighty, guys. Game two. We got Fighting Foo. I feel like I've played him before. I'm not entirely sure. Try and snag our corner while being relatively safe here. I think he knows I have to kind of jump off my backboard there. I thought I was going to land sooner than I did. I made that very awkward to try and catch. To hurry and get back. I'm not going to shoot for trying to get our corner at all because I know that he has like a bump potential if I did try it, you know. We want him to jump up or something here. He does go for a flick. Once again, I'm just going to let him have my corner there. I think I jumped, flipped out of the way without even hitting that. I don't even know. It's kind of glitchy. Wow, what a 50. Okay, I tried to bump him out of the way. I, <coughs> excuse me, I almost died. Uh, I, uh, I didn't have, I, I, I love, I, I left ball cam on. I can't even talk now. I left ball cam on. And so I couldn't really see him, so I just kind of like blindly tried to hit him, which probably wasn't the best play to commit on. What is this pinch? What? What? How? I can't. It, honestly, from y'all's perspective, it might have looked obvious that that was pinching towards my net. From my perspective and my tiredness and my exhaustion, it sure didn't. I feel like this might be a guy that I lost to that I sh felt like I shouldn't have. Which might be why I remember his name. He doesn't get that one in, but he does well to get it around me. Kind of forced me to commit on, on it. Alright, well, he makes a bit of a mistake there, so we will get one on the board here. If I lose this game, it's going to be rough. I feel like there's just a difference. There's a difference between people I should be winning and people who I should be like going even with, people who I should be losing to on average. You know, This guy doesn't feel like a guy that should be winning. Uh, norm normally against me yet. I mean, maybe he is. Maybe he's just 
slow right now, but doesn't seem too threatening. Just seems like I'm making all the mistakes. Backflip, but still can snag this. See if he wants to turn. Actually, I'm just going to go. Try to hit it. I didn't know if he'd like try and turn that and stay close or not. Just single jump into that. He's taking possession nicely. Not sure how he's getting it over me like every time. Almost, but... Oh, I almost got the save there. Did you see that? I almost hit the crossbar and had it bounce out. But yeah, his 50s are good. I'm diving into the ball, flipping when I shouldn't, is kind of the main thing I see that I'm doing wrong. Going for boosts that are maybe a little bit scary to go for. I don't think he can turn this in by any means, so. All right, he actually chases me for the demo and like, in a way that's kind of weird. All right, we did get that little turn in. That's good. We faked him out there. He chased me like farther than I expected. I thought I'm, I thought he'd do like a drive by, and I, I turned a little bit earlier, like kind of in my net area, and he still like turned and followed me to get the bump and then secured boost, which. It's absolutely fine. That's out. I was not paying attention to that play hardly at all because I was talking my thought process in and I bump him into a boost. Not the best. I can't really stay this close. I don't have the beans to really do much there. I probably shouldn't have tapped that to him and then left it, but... Dude, what are his 50s? What is this guy doing? I'm, I'm so, so confused as to what this guy's doing in and around his 50s to be so dang strong. Nice, nice. Okay, we got a nice little flick. Um, we delayed our jump, or sorry, we did, delayed our flip pretty late, got a couple touches in the air, got a lot of power on it right above him. It's just really hard for one to him to expect me to do that and two for him to respond to that, so. Nice. I actually get the save and turn that around for a goal, which is to me, just impressive. He, he just missed up. I feel like this guy, he's 980. This guy looks like I looked like before I started this, I think. Which, you know, I have a lot more experience in ones than I did whenever I was this guy's rank. Uh, not rank, but like how I feel like he's playing his skill level, I guess. I don't know. He definitely has like the ability to outplay and, you know, make, make goals happen that are frustrating for me to let in. But I think that's kind of the play style that I always tried to try to keep up with anyways. Oh, I wanted the flip there. Anyways, GG's, we do get game two. Very different opponents. Game one and game two, very different. Like, just vastly different. Um, but I, I, I think I'm kind of warming up again today. I'm still exhausted, so just bear with me, and we'll get in game three. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, game three, we got frog ball chases. Interesting. So maybe this guy is a ball chaser. Maybe he's got a friend who ball chases. Maybe he has a fro pet frog that ball chases. I don't actually know. All I know is that we got to do the best we can with what we got. What we got is a very tired me and a very interestingly named opponent. I completely ruined myself there, and... I thought he was just going to score, and he didn't. Now I'm extra confused. I mean, he is ball chasing. Seems like that's his goal. This is just strictly ball chase. 
Like, maybe this is an account where he's practicing ball chasing and he just wants to see how high he can get literally just ball chasing. Which, you know, that, that might be a fun little challenge to do, but... Also makes it slightly, you know, less ideal. If that's all you're doing and you let it be known. Ah, couldn't get the flip, like, towards the ball enough. It's all right. Well, he kind of he kind of should have had that one anyways from earlier, so we'll let him have it. Um, if we know he's going to ball chase, at least if that actually is his tactic, it seems like it is so far. But if he doesn't change that up much, he's going to definitely leave some openings. That we can uh, most likely exploit some one way or another. So let's just kind of... Entirely sure how he just straight wins that, but we do get a save that didn't count as a save. Wait, I didn't I didn't even get a clear there? I'm so confused. I don't know how I don't get in the way there. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly was like, I'm 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 touching this ball. And I guess I didn't. I guess I just didn't touch the ball. I don't know. It looked like it was gonna. I guess maybe he could have, like, pinched it off of me or something. Didn't look like that's what happened, but... Alright, well, we're down by two. I think I'm already in my own head about what this guy is and what he's about, just because of his name and kind of how, you know, what I got from his initial plays. And it just seems like that's just what it is. I, I, is this just his ball chasing account? Is that just how he plays? Like, what... Well, yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> kind of threw that away again on kickoff, but it's all right. Let's let him chase this one in the air here. I don't think he got the flip there. Maybe he did, actually. Huh. Okay. I think he got my corner boost, and he had a pretty good position. I just got, like, a really nice touch out here. He's also behind me, so it's not like he made a huge mistake. I think I just got the better of him on a 50 and took it to the house. Not exactly the touch I'm looking for, but uh, and he bumps me, which severely sucks. I don't know if anyone does this before, but if you go back and watch what I just did, I was holding both triggers at the same time. I was trying to reverse and drive at the same time, and I just wasn't moving. And it's super frustrating, because sometimes that happens, and I just get completely wrecked by it. Alright, we'll let him go to the sidewall. That's absolutely fine with me. It gives me time to at least get get some boost and kind of recover a bit here. And we get it around him. I don't know if that's on target. It is. It is. It would have been. It totally would have been. I totally didn't need to be there. But he's ball chasing, you know. We, uh, we can... Like I said, we're just going to do everything we can to use this to our advantage. But really, like... I don't think there's a whole lot else more to say about it. I mean, we got a good 50 there. That's tactically though, like what's, what am I thinking about? Well, right now I want to make sure that I get a good kickoff. I slow down at the end, don't use all my boost. We did that. Kind of 50 it and I missed his corner. So I actually am going to give him the ball here. Let him go up, see what he has. He has a flip. Did get a block on my initial turnaround. Let's make him jump up here. He's gonna chase that, right? No, he's gonna actually slow things down. It's not really like a chase if he waits and like re restructures himself. I feel like. He's not very chasey right here. Um my car kind of slid sideways there on accident as I came off the wall. Messed me up a bit. Oh, he actually almost got another touch there, which would have been really nice for him.
Probably assumes I'm zero, which would be a good, good fair assumption. I mean, I had two, but... Might be quick enough. That's quick enough. There we go. Okay. We're up by three with 26 seconds. He leaves the game. Yes. Yes. I say yes because I'm excited that we didn't do worse than yesterday. <laughs> like Yesterday was bad. Um, I could have played better, obviously. I was exhausted. But I'm, I'm kind of waking up now, I feel like. Um, so, yeah. Let's really try and just push through. And we have a chance at a 4-1 day right now. We have a chance at a 3-2, 4-1, 2-3. Our odds are looking good. Let's just try to win at least both of these games. All right, guys. Game four, we got ZZ Diddy. Z Diddy? I don't know how to say his name. Seems like he had a slower kickoff or something. I don't know. Maybe he just front flipped. Seemed a little bit less like a speed flip, more like a front flip of sorts. Pinch? Oh, I wanted to pinch into his net with him. Hey, we get that around him, and I think that's quick enough. Okay. Uh, he definitely was going for that mid, obviously. I had 12 boosts or so left right there after that pad. And, uh, just kind of figured, you know what, I'm going to commit on the shot. There's hard, hard to save there if he does flip for it. He might have been able to, like, book it home and save it, but... I think he wanted to stay on that ball. Which would have made sense, given, you know, that he had the boost advantage. Oh, did he on goal? Whoops. I made him panic, I guess, but I mean, I thought he, I also thought he jumped right there. He didn't. Like, I thought I heard him jump. Um, I was a little bit surprised to see him coming back around, but yeah, no worries at all. All right, we get a nice, strong early lead. Let's do what we can to make sure that we stay relevant to the play as much as we possibly can. Kickoffs, obviously, you know, they happen. You got a lot of power on that too, which, you know, that's fair. All right, let's try and save 12 here. Just pop that one up around him and then get this. Like I said, stay up on him as much as we can. And we just actually, okay, actually, that second touch was was key there. Actually, was solid. Uh, I didn't know it was going to go in. I really wanted to just kind of go for, like, the backboard and get a, uh... A little double tap arena or something like that, but... I couldn't really stay up on that one with him getting the boost and having, like, a really good spot where that ball was going to go for him, so... Oh, that's a good bump. We'll, we'll throw him the nice shot, but it's, for, it's like, uh, I want to say it was like telegraphed, but at the same time, it's just, the whole thing seems slow, and he get he gets me, obviously, he gets the goal. I mean, good shot, but felt less threatening than, you know, it was. My car just decided to spin out randomly, so you hate that. You hate that for sure. Let's speed up here and see how he handles this. Okay, he wants to go up in the air here. I did not, not trust that he was even going to be able to get that on target. And yeah, he's just greedy. He's just greedy getting my corner. He didn't expect me to just catch that and turn it or turn it down. I, I'm not sure if this guy has a lot of experience in ones. I don't, I don't know what it is. It just feels like. Feels like there's just a difference in his decision making and, and speed and everything that makes him feel, I don't know, maybe a little less experienced in 1v1. But yeah, we'll get a kickoff goal. Nice. So we're up three, uh, we're up three goals. He has plenty of time. Like this is not, not the end all be all at all, but let's see if we can't keep going, you know, really, really put the pedal to the metal. We do everything we can to to be as good as possible and stay absolutely as warmed up as possible for our next and last game. Even if, even if, like, this guy still can, can come back, obviously. But, you know, even even if it ends up being something like where it's probably unlikely that he comes back, I still want to do everything I can to make sure that I'm not, like, getting complacent in my, in my offense and defense and general plays try 
Try to go around him. I was hoping he would think that I was flipping to that other mid boost. I wasn't. I just wanted him to think that. But he did good to just kind of shadow there. That's a good shot. I honestly thought that I was going to get there first. Um, but, yeah. I guess he had enough boost and had like a really good line on the ball. Just put that like not threatening, but I don't know. Not a spot where he can just take over. Oh, he misses. That's unfortunate for him. All right. Let's try and get something going here. Eh, I kind of thought he was going to challenge that. He might bang it. So I want to make sure that I'm like having velocity going backwards. Wow, what a save. What a shave by me. Loki thought he was going to snag my corner. Go in. Got the demo, but I got the goal. Nice. Okay, we get our three goal lead back. A minute and a half. Less than a minute and a half. Whew, I still feel stressed. I mean, 1v1s are always stressful, but... All right, we get that. We do slow our pace down here. I didn't mean to get that touch. It's probably obvious, but... Definitely didn't mean to touch it how I did. Get that save. Nice. I think we have plenty of time here to just kind of mosey a boot. Let him get a touch there. Might have gone for another dribble or, or sorry, air dribble bump or something like that. We're just going to hit this to space. I mean, honestly, it's like we're wasting 5, 10 seconds there, which up by three feels like the play. We'll just fake that. Get in the way there. I think that pretty much seals the deal. I mean, even if I don't score this, which I am, but even if I didn't score it, um, 30 seconds, three goals. He didn't have possession. Ball's on his side. Wasn't, wasn't looking good for him. So we're playing this game pretty well. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. No problem, buddy. Yeah, I mean, I, I mess up demos a lot. I don't get demos that often. I didn't even know he's going for a demo there, to be honest, but... Oh my gosh, guys, we got a we got a, a winning day on on just very very exhaustion level. We're not as tired as we were yesterday, that's for sure. Uh, I was a little bit loopy last night, it felt like, but um, I also think you know, yes, last night we had a higher level of competition. I want to say, I mean, the first guy played today, tonight that I went to overtime with, he was good, but even still, I think uh, the last guy I played last night was better than him. The other guy I played has been better than all the other people I've been playing tonight. And we have one more game, so let's hop in and see if we can get a 4-1 day. Alrighty, guys, game five, we have RFS. RFS with some boxes, you know? Some rectangular dudes. Trying to stay awkwardly, annoyingly close to this ball, but he ends up does get getting a little bit of closeness on it I did not want. Pop that one up, which is going to make his save really awkward here. But he does a really nice job to control that. But he played for his corner, which I had him beat on. But this guy is definitely playing the ball nicely. I didn't have a flip anymore there, so... I wasn't about to score that by any means. This guy can't have a lot of boost, but he probably still gets in the way there. Which is fine. I didn't use a whole lot either, so. Did he get mid? I think he might have. Thinks I might want that corner. No, I did get it, but I kind of thought he was going to dive for it or something. That one might just be... Oh my gosh, he gets back. Okay, his boost management was better than mine there. I'm not going to lie. I thought I had... For not not there, but before then, I thought I had him beat and boost, and he just saved a lot or got a lot of pads here and there. Wow, he really delays that. That's unfortunate for me. 
I did not expect him to delay. That was a hard delay. That was like a, I'm going to delay this kickoff delay. Not like my little like stutter at the end. I was hoping I could bump him off. I didn't want to flip into it and lose that or get bumped in a weird way. I don't know exactly the right answer against this guy so far. I think he's pretty good. He's staying on the ball nicely. He's getting the aggressive bumps he wants. Honestly, I got scared there, which is why I went for that. My, my initial read was saying it was going out, but after that, I kind of got scared and thought I messed up my read. Oh my gosh, he gets back just in time. That's rough. Yeah, this guy's very quick. Very quick. His recoveries are good. Ah, uh, I, I know it looks awkward that I didn't jump there, but I didn't know I was going to ramp off my net. Or like the, the, the post there. And if I jump, I'm just like, it doesn't, nothing's happening. All right. We do get one on the board. We get one back at least. At least we get that last one back. That last one was kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, I got to figure out the best way to play against guys like this. Wow. My whole body like convulsed there. I can't get up to that ball before he can. So I have to make sure that I back off and get boost and kind of. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's just so so speedy, you know? He tries to fake that out. He's staying with the ball so nicely. Like, I don't know the best tactic to uh, make sure that I'm 100% not going to like get beat and scored on instantly, you know? It's just like be consistent is the tactic and that jump off the wall was bad so I bailed there. Even that is scary, you know? It's like Yeah, getting two more against this guy is going to be rough. I mean, one, I have to defend, but two, his defense is just that good. All right. Yeah, I was about to say, that should be a goal. Like, he, he hit that in a way to where my first touch on my save was just really good. And um, <laughs> I was like, if I don't score this, I don't deserve the win. But look at that. This time, it appears like... We at least got something going. And, like, look at that power he gets off off of, like, no boost there. I don't expect to score on him doing stuff like that. It's just I'm hoping that to play for a 50 or something that goes my way or that, like, I can get, like, a rebound shot. I think he just gave up because... Yeah, he gave up because he knew that he messed, didn't get the flip, and he was kind of all in there. But, hey, we do tie it up. That, that's on his mistake, which is good. It means he can bleed. He heavy delayed that first time we had that kickoff, so I was a little bit concerned about what we had in store for me there. I just don't know how to, like, I've been double flip resetting on two days in a row now. I don't have a I don't have a defense for that. You know, it's because I'm not expecting people to go for double flip resets. Maybe I ought to, I and mean, it's been two days in a row. I ought to be getting better at that defense, right? But honestly I thought I might be able to speed that up before he could get back. I kind of bump him out, which is interesting. Still getting my boost advantage there. Still not the best. I don't have a lot of boost. or I have a lot of boost. I don't have a lot of time here. And that shot's high. Alright, he's going to get the dub. Unfortunate. It's just these high, high mechanical people like getting into this champ range, you know. Um, 
I have to be able to respect that they can get like double flip resets. That's two days in a row. Like it's still wild to me. I, I don't, I've never practiced that before. I'm not saying that people shouldn't. I just, I haven't. So I don't expect it. Um, so anyways, I gotta get better at defending that and like knowing what I should do in those situations. And I think a lot of times I'm just giving them too much space. Um, but you know, yesterday I played a game that was really good when I didn't give them space. So I think that still is my problem. That was like kind of my original goal and I'm still giving way too much space. So anyways, maybe tomorrow we'll focus on that. But either way, that's the end of day 75. We'll catch you tomorrow for day 76. See ya. Peace.